actually. Um, so, you know, I said, are you excited for the new season? It seems like this new season is just going to be like, you know, she implied like it's it's going to be back to basics on Beverly Hills in like a good way, right? So I've been saying that, you know, the network, there is, look at, look at Salt Lake. How many of you are watching Salt Lake this season? It is, it is like New York. It's better than any comedy that was ever on TV. It's hilarious. I am thrilled with Mary Cosby being back. To me, Mary is Ramona. Does anyone see the similarities between Mary and Ramona? A lot. You could argue that Mary is, what the hell is she doing there? She doesn't want to do anything. She doesn't want to do anything. She's like, I'm not going to do that. She's just sitting and doing whatever she wants. I I feel like, did someone give Mary the directive of like, we're bringing you back and like, there is no directive. Just do whatever you want because Mary is doing whatever she freaking wants. Kind of here for it. You know, I'm kind of here for it. So that's Mary. She's just doing whatever the hell she wants. And so what was my point? So Salt Lake is hilarious and funny and I'm loving it. I think all the shows are not going to be toxic. So I've been sitting around saying Jersey won't be toxic. And so many people in my life have said, no, Jersey is, is, is different Jersey. And I'm like, it's not because you can't. Uh, yes. Do I think these women of Jersey are harsher than many other franchises? Yes. Do I think Jersey is possibly in a way, the most toxic franchise? Maybe, but you can't beat a network. So if you have editors and a production company and a network that just won't go down this toxic road, it doesn't matter how toxic the people are that you can just blow the wind the wrong way. And Teresa's going to flip a damn table, blow the wind the wrong way. And Margaret's going to go on her 2200 Finstas. It's just that it's bigger than them. They will edit it in a way that's hilarious and light. Remember the early days of Jersey? Although I guess season one, we had cop without a badge and we had Danielle Staub and that wasn't really light. Now was it? Well, the point I'm actually trying to make is, so I said, you know, Jersey isn't going to be toxic because that's the direction of the network. Well, here we are. We have this basically physical altercation. We have two women suspended. So maybe I'm wrong. Once again, once again, maybe David's wrong, but I don't think so. Like this happened. The narrative is out there. They were suspended. They're kept. Now what? Is Jersey having a toxic season? Was David wrong from behind the velvet rope? Or this happened. It's a real thing. We suspended these people. We kept them. But now what? Are we going to see this? Are we going to see this? I don't know. I mean, I would think so. Look, if Danielle and Jennifer are having drama, then we're clearly going to see Danielle and Jennifer having drama are we going to go to a black screen and say Bravo does not condone any type of this, that, or the other thing? I don't know. I, I don't know. But I, I don't think it's going to come back dark and heavy. So I think this will either be just edited out. Danielle and Jennifer could have drama all season. I doubt it's over now. But I'm not sure this is going to be seen. I, I hope it is. And it possibly will be but i'm not sure that i was wrong because when this happened i was like oh god david here you go again you're wrong again you're wrong again it's going to be toxic as ever this franchise is not capable of the rules but i i, I don't i have a feeling that this won't really be a big storyline they're going to cut to like a black screen or something i don't know if we're going to see it i don't know if we're going to see it um what that brings up is imagine what goes through, what goes through. Did you guys, were you guys thinking about this again? I don't know, Danielle. I've never spoken to her in my life. Jennifer, I know. And yes, I did speak to her before this season started. We're good. I'm really, I'm good with all the people on the show. Now I'm not on the show. I said this last week. I'm not on the show unless you pay my salary. I'm not getting in it. I'm not feeling it. It's not hitting me in between the, the it's just, it's just like Potomac or Atlanta. Who wants to come on the podcast? What are y'all doing on the screen? And by the way, I will call your ass out when I see it. I have no problem with that, but I ain't getting in it. So imagine what goes through like a Danielle's head, a Jennifer's head. Uh, I mean, 
suspend it for three or four days. That's how it has to work. It has to move fast. We have a filming schedule to adhere to. But I mean, if I, I would imagine Danielle in her second season does not want to lose this job. Uh, Jennifer Aiden, this is her life. And I don't even mean that in like a bad way. Look, when the show is over, she has a husband that makes money. She's a mother. She'll she'll be just fine. She loves being there. She loves it. So when you're suspended, I think you really, you know, I don't think it's, I don't, to me, I don't think if you have any brain, I don't think you are taken off suspension and then come back guns blazing. I think you're taken off suspension. You're given a, a talk. We're taking you off suspension, but your warning is one more time and you're fired. And I think during those three to four days, you think you're fired. You really start to grapple in your mind of how your life is now different. And I think you then come back. I don't even know if it's humbled, but you come back scared. You come back <laughs> more demure than you were before you were on suspension. You come back, you know, Look, I don't think Jennifer and Danielle are friends now. I think that will continue because that's authentic. We want to make a reality show here. But I don't think you come back. I, I think you learn because every day that goes by, I, your mind is your mind. And you really get to like, okay, this is how life is going to be when I'm no longer on this show. So I imagine Jennifer and Danielle both came back very thankful for their jobs. And like, here we are, a new dawn, a new day. And we're not going to push the envelope too much. What does this mean? I mean, look what we are talking about. We are talking about Danielle versus Jennifer. We are talking about alliance shifts. We are talking about, we're talking about everything except Teresa versus Melissa. Everything. I told you. Now, I was wrong. But once they announced that everybody was coming back, it's just, like the, I, I've said this for weeks, it clicked, it clicked to me. And I said, I get it. I get it. Cause I really don't think they knew what else to do. I get it. And as soon as they said that, I said, it won't be Teresa versus Melissa, which really, really, you should all be thrilled with yourselves because you, the audience, the behind the velvet rope audience right now, you people are heard. You didn't want Lisa Rinna coming back. She ain't back. Now, I don't think Bravo makes all their decisions based on what people want, but I think they really look. I mean, they're not stupid. They see all the comments. They know that everybody is over the sister-in-law storyline. So as soon as they said they're both back, I'm like, I, I okay, I see it. I get it. And it's not going to be these two. And it's not. I mean, Andy just said it on Watch What Happens when Jackie was on, which we'll get to in a minute, Jackie and Marge. So that is what, look, I don't think Bravo likes the fact that we had to put two people on suspension. I don't think Bravo likes the fact that there's some physical stuff going on. I don't think they like it at all. But I, wait, 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 I have something else to say. I know, I always have something else to say. But listen, you guys know I've been having a lot of digestive issues lately. I've shared that with all of you throughout the past few weeks. I share a lot with you guys. But you know what I didn't know? I didn't know that these digestive issues were caused by potential toxins that are in these quote unquote healthy foods. I thought I was eating right. Oh my gosh. I have learned so much. We've been hearing about, you know, these healthy foods for years, right? Well, this potential toxin causes digestive issues, according to Dr. Gundry. He's a world-renowned cardiologist. And the harmful condition is affecting millions of people nationwide. It was affecting me. Now, here's the thing. There's so many warning signs that I now saw that I didn't realize. Weight gain, hello. I mean, that's all I talk about with you guys. Fatigue, digestive discomfort, stiff joints. I've even had skin problems. And you know, listen, I'm not a spring chicken. So I just personally thought that all these things were happening because I was getting older. Well, Dr. Gundry explains that these side effects are often mistaken for normal signs of aging. Now I know. So listen, I can assure you that the damage is probably caused by these healthy foods and it's far from normal. The good news is you can easily help fix the problem from your own home. It's very simple. You just have to know which foods are actually healthy and which contain this hidden potential toxin. It's that simple. 
So you can find this for yourself at gutcleanseprotocol.com slash velvet. That's gutcleanseprotocol.com slash velvet. You can just click on the link in the description below this video because after years of research, Dr. Gundry has decided to release an informative video to the public free. It's free and uninterrupted. You guys have to watch this showcasing exactly which foods you need to avoid. Go to the video, gutcleanseprotocol.com slash velvet. I'm not trying to be dramatic. I know this is reality TV, but this really, really has changed my life. Click on the link below. Bye.